Hello everyone, hate starting the show off on a side note, this one's definitely got to be done, we got a couple of sad losses to report, um, this guy right here, well who's that, Elder L. Tom Perry, who's that you say, well if you're Mormon, you're probably familiar with this guy, this guy was an absolute legend in the um, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon, Elder um, Lowell, Lowell Tom Pe Perry, I keep, keep wanting to say Petty, but Perry, he was born August 5th, 1922. Same exact month, day, and year as my grandmother, actually, on my father's side, on my mother's side. Yep, no kidding. Pretty cool, August 5th, 1922. Sadly, he passed away May 30th, 2015. Ripe old age of 92. Passed away from cancer, unfortunately. But uh, this guy, an absolute legend. And a very, very good man. He is definitely going to be sorely missed. He will never be forgotten. And then we got... Uh, this one was a sad loss, for sure. Um, whether you agree with Joe Biden or not, no one should ever wish death upon his son, Bo Biden. Bo Biden, a uh, phenomenal American man, and uh, son of Joe Biden, Vice President of the United States of America, born February 3rd, 1969. He also passed away May 30th, 2015, of uh, cancer. Brain cancer, very sad. Much too young, only 56 years, or 40, yeah, 46 years old. Folks, that ain't, that is way too short to die, you know? When you die at 92, it's more understandable. It's a good long life. 46, uh-uh. But very sad. Either way, both, both, um, both deaths, definitely tragic, definitely sad. But a moment of silence, please, to two great men, Elder L. Tom Perry and, uh, Joe, B uh, yeah, Bo Biden. All righty. Well, folks, you know me. You know I'm not going to have the show on a sad note because that's not my style. That's not the way I go out. That's not the way I do business. So hang tight. That's right, baby. Here we go. Whoa, I didn't pump up the volume enough on that. Hello everyone, it is indeed Sunday, May 31st in the year of our Lord 2015, how are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome, it's Gospel Sunday, great way to start the week, and uh, I love Gospel Sunday, it gives me a chance to bring out some great music, a lot of inspiration, that's what I like to do, I quickly like to bring out inspiration every day, here's a place that will give you some inspiration. Our good friends over at Big Johnson Liquor and Beer. Great way to get some good quality adult beverages. Big Johnson Liquor and Beer. Right down here in Yeehaw, Abilene, Texas. Otherwise, there's Southern Oklahoma, pretty much the same damn state. So yeah, if you need some good adult beverage, that's definitely one of the three places I go visit. Big Johnson. Love me some H&H &H beverage and Milo liquors for Big Johnson as well. And uh, all three places have different things available, so I gotta hit them all if I want the full plethora of things available. Amen, of course. What a great way to start the show. Let's bust out today's beer consumption apparatus. Oh yeah, Gospel Sunday special beer consumption apparatus. Amen. And uh, today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's how about we take it to uh, Kansas City, Missouri, as I call it up there. Missouri! That's what I call it. Uh, Boulevard Brewing Company, 80 acre um Hoppy Wheat Beer, mmm, 5.5% alcohol by volume, a little bit above average in strength, this stuff's phenomenal, and uh, Boulevard Brewing Company, I love them, and uh, we got a birthday girl today, she's going to be so happy to see me drinking it, and uh, she works over at Big Johnson, we'll talk about that later, probably our winning apparatus, proper technique, here we go, beautiful day outside, I'm going to go uh, mow down the uh, jungle out there as soon as I get done with this here show. 45 grand right into the big assumption that press right over the keyboard because I'm sad damn good to have a spell drop yet. Never have, never will. Wow, I got the shakes today. That's not good. Permanent nerve damage. That's what happens when you break your neck, you know? So, hey. Half inch from being quadriplegic. Thank God I'm alive. Every day I love life. Life is a blessing. Amen to that. So, by golly, let's drink. Cheers to the best all you pros in say Germany, Kapai, as they say in Japan. Mmm, refreshing. Mmm. Big B plus on this here beer. I love it. Good stuff. Mmm. 
All right, let's get to today's, uh, yesterday's birthdays first and foremost. My good friend Trish Serrano. Oh my goodness, she is a beautiful young lady, badass engine repair girl that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as West Louisiana, pretty much the same damn state. Actually, ironically, her and her awesome, wonderful man Juan. I worked with both of them in jolly old England, and uh, they just had a baby recently. Congratulations. Aww. Juan and Trish Serrano, I have so much love for the two of you. Why? Because you're the first ever wedding ceremony that I ever um, officiated. And I was a few years back, jolly old England, lots of fun. You two, I'm so proud of you. Two kids now, great family, great friends, very positive um, inspirations, both of you are. And I know Juan's spawning you rotten right now, Trish, because he's a great man. You're an even better woe man. And uh, hey, Trish, happy birthday from yesterday. Hope you had a wicked awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and bears to you, my dear. Oh, who you? Next on the list, badass crew dog, great leader of men, women, and it's that I worked with in exotic Japan. My man, Scott Ranzier. Ah, Scott, good hearing from you, buddy. What's going on? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Definitely miss working with you. Definitely miss the good times. And always a pleasure to keep in touch with you. You're a hell of a guy. And brother, happy birthday from yesterday. Hope you had a wicked awesome day. Hey, right, celebrate well and enjoy, brother. And cheers and beers. Next on the list, my man Jason Canna. This is a different Jason Canna than the one that I know from back home to live two streets over from me. Yeah, we had two Jason Cannas back home at Martha's Vineyard Island. And this awesome guy is a fine outstanding graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1990. Yeah, buddy. Jason Canna, what's up, my brother? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, great hearing from you. Definitely miss you big time. Hope you have a wicked awesome day from yesterday. And hey, have another wicked awesome day today, will you? Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And the next on the list, my young friend, Mason Atwood. Mason Atwood. A wonderful, hard-working, positively-minded, motivated young man that I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise, I know is northern Mexico, pretty much the same damn country. Mason, what's up, brother? Good to hear from you yesterday, and I hope you celebrated it well, and I hope you're having another wicked awesome day today, because I'm going to have a wicked awesome day with you. And hey, unfortunately, legally, in the United States of America, you can die for your country, but you can't support your country's alcohol level. Hey, I don't agree with speed limits either, and I don't agree with that rule. I don't agree with all rules, but we have to follow them, whether we like them or not. So hey, Mason, don't worry, brother. The older you get, the faster the time goes. In the meantime, have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday from yesterday. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and apple juice to you, my friend. All right. Final birthday from the yesterday. A very dear friend of mine that I know from good old California, land of fruits and nuts, although I know it's Southern Oregon. Awesome guy. Badass crew dog. Definitely a great leader of men, women, and it's. And one of the biggest old school music fans that I've ever met in my entire life. He's turned me on to some great music. My good friend Steve Chiapetta, of course, the pride of New York. Big time, wicked, hardcore, legit, no bull New York Rangers fan, uh, New York Mets fan, New York football Giants fan. Oh, yeah, New York Knicks fan, a true New Yorker. Much respect to you. I got a beer coming today that you're going to like, okay? Because this ain't going to be the only beer I have. This is going to be a long one. I got a lot of birthday shout-outs. But Steve, my friend, brother, I miss working with you. I miss chatting with you. But hey, always great hearing from you online. Happy birthday from yesterday. Hope you had a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy it, brother. Cheers and beers. Yup. <clears throat> Squeeze me. All right. So there's your birthdays from yesterday. Let's talk about today's birthdays. We got like 12 of them, folks. Wow. My good friend, Matt Monsey. Matt Monsey, brother. Oh, what a special birthday it is for you today, huh? You got that right. In fact, our good friend Cameron, Cameron Franklin, an absolute sweetheart of a lady, she posted up yesterday that at midnight today, this morning, you're going to get your drink on. Why? Because you're 21 and ready for a lot of fun. Matt Monsey, brother, always great chatting with you. A hardworking young man I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico. Matt, brother, you're probably hungover right now. But you know what? Hey, they say the best way to cure a hangover is to have another beer. And guess what you can do? You can drink with me right here, right now on Baron's Song of the Day. 
And brother, don't you do, don't you dare go driving if you're drinking, okay? You know how I am about that. But hey, have a wicked awesome day. Party hot and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. Cheers and bears to you, Matt. Hope you enjoy the show. And this lovely lady, born in the exact same month, day, and years, my good friend Matt Monsey. Yep, 21, lots of fun, my good friend Melinda Escobar. A badass cop that I work with down here. You all take this other one known as 40% of the size of Alaska. It's a cute state. In fact, Melinda, you went on vacation. Yeah, 20 days of fun. So I know you're celebrating. You better be, as long as you ain't driving. And make sure people are looking out for you, okay? Proud of you. Happy birthday to you. Such a positive attitude. We definitely need more people like you in the world. No question about that. Well, Melinda Escobar, my friend, happy birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hot and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you, my dear. Oh, hell yeah. I hope you're drinking a beer while you're watching the show. Same for you, Matt. You two definitely deserve it. Ah, here's a great man that I know from good old Fresno, California, land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Western Nevada. My man Juan Barba. Juan, what an awesome guy, a great family man, a great friend, a true friend. This guy I would trust with my life. There's no question about that. Juan, even though you're a Raiders fan, I love you, buddy. Hey, you know why? Because you're from California. You should be a Raiders fan. And you're a class act. You're not one of those typical Raider fans that like to beat the hell out of people because they're wearing the wrong colors. No, you're a classy guy. And you just like to cheer on your team as any good fan should. And brother, it was a fumble. You're right. You guys got screwed. I'll admit it. Tuck rule. <laughs> Boy, that was some bullshit. But hey, I can't complain. But yeah, you guys got screwed. But Juan, I love you, buddy. And happy birthday. I hope you have a wicked awesome day. I wish I could be there to celebrate it with you. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy, my brother. Cheers and beers. I think you should be a real hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day sometime. You know? Just saying. Your brother Ivan was. And he did a damn good job. Got a lot of love on Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. All right? Well, cheers and beers, Juan. Miss you, buddy. Next on the list. Ah, this lovely, gorgeous, sweetheart of a lady does indeed work over at Big Johnson. She also works at one of my favorite places to go visit and eat and drink. Taylor County Tap House. Oh, yeah. Lots of great customer service there. Lots of great ladies there. In fact, a couple very dear sweetheart friends of mine, Don Jason and Karen DeWitt. Those two ladies, along with Jamie, you three are the trifecta of exquisite wicked awesomeness. And that's why I will always keep coming back to Taylor County ha Tap House because of people like you. No question about it. Jamie Price. <coughs> Squeeze me. Happy birthday, my dear. And how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. And look at that, huh? You know this beer. You love it. You're the one that brought this here beer to good old Abilene Yeehaw, Texas. You pushed for it. You made it happen. Now everybody's got it. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, my friend, and I hope you're drinking some Boulevard with me while you watch the show, and I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And she's from Kansas City, Missouri. That's right, and she is a legit, wicked, hardcore Kansas City Royals fan. Yep, you don't find a lot of them, but she's legit. All right, next on the list, my good friend, Del Rara. Now, here's an awesome guy that I worked with in good old California, the land of fruits and so I northern, known as Northern Mexico, can't even talk straight anymore. Wow. Dell, milestone birthday to you, buddy. What's going on? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Always that positive attitude. Always making people laugh. Always a hard worker. Awesome guy. Brother, I miss you big time. I miss working with you. Well, hey, have, have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday. Celebrate well and enjoy, brother. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, ah, my man Chris Ralston. Now here is a supremely talented GCS Posse member, GNC Posse member for life that I worked with in exotic Japan. Him and his wonderful, gorgeous, better half Jackie. Uh, Jackie's spoiling him rotten right now. I know she is because she's a great woe man. Chris, you're a great man. Wicked hardcore, legit no bull Indianapolis Colts fan. As you should be. You're from Indiana. Or as I like to call it, Eastern Illinois. 
But Chris, happy birthday, my friend. Miss you, buddy. This guy, folks, he could improv rap like you would not believe. This guy's hugely talented, and he's got a great attitude, great sense of humor, and just an awesome guy. Chris, I miss you, brother. Hey, I hope you're working an awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy, brother, and cheers and beers. But warning, my Patriots are going to kill your Colts this year. Yup. Still love you, man. All right, next on the list, here's another legend that I worked with in Exotic Japan. Badass Crew Dog. And this guy, 1835 is all I got to say. And you know what I'm talking about there, J.D. Nix. Oh, yeah, J.D. Nix, a great man, a hard-working man, a great leader of men, women, and it's an awesome Christian man. <clears throat> and a pride of North Carolina, or as I like to call it, Southern Virginia. JD, what's going on, buddy? How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Definitely miss you big time. Been a little bit since I've heard from you, so drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing, will ya? And hey, I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Happy birthday. Celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers. Next on the list, my good friend, Matt Britt. Oh, yeah, badass crew dog there. I worked with in jolly old England. Good chat with you earlier today. And you said you're not going to, you don't know about partying hard, but you got some shots lined up. Why? Take those shots, will you? Man, I should have poured one and drank one with you long distance. Dang. Oh, well. But hey, you're the perfect age. 25, man alive, quarter of a century old. Like I told you earlier today, now you can rent a car from the airport. You can also, your insurance goes down. You could already drink adult beverages, and you could already go to Triple X movies. Yeah, buddy. Well, hey, Matt, I miss you, bud. Happy birthday. Good hearing from you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. And hey, cheers and beers. <coughs> Squeeze me. Yup. Empty as brain cells of an average Montreal Canadiens fan, eh? Steve Chiapetta. I'm taking it to New York for this one. Your home brewery, buddy. Brooklyn Brewery out of Utica, New York. Brooklyn Lager. This stuff is fantabulous. 5.2% alcohol by volume. Just a smidge above normal strength. This is a magnificent beer. Probably a running apparatus prop technique. I love Brooklyn Brewery beers. Anybody who says, oh, I'm not going to drink New York beers because I'm from Massachusetts. You need to grow a brain. Seriously. It's the same with New Yorkers who won't drink Sam Adams. Okay. Never de or drink beers from Massachusetts. Never deprive the beer connoisseur in you of what it needs. You gotta represent all beers, okay? Forty-five grand around in the beer consumption apparatus, fire with keyboard because I'm just that damn that damn good. I haven't spilled a drop yet, never have, never will. I will drink a beer from anywhere, pretty much, okay? Why? Because variety is the spice of life, baby. And why limit yourself in your choices? Cheers and beers, all you pros that say Germany can buy as say in Japan. Ah. All right. Now, let's give a big happy birthday shout out to a very dear friend of mine that I've known for over 25 years. I love this guy. Now, now wait, don't get excited. But I do. I love this guy like a brother. My man, Alan Lucas. Alan. Fine outstanding graduate of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class in 1990. A great man. An awesome guy, one of the most positive attitudes I've ever known in my entire life. This guy is a walking brain. Alan Lucas, buddy, always great chatting with you. Happy birthday. And brother, I hope you have a wicked awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy, my man. I've been a big hearty cheers and beers to you. And I know he watches Beer and Song of the Day. And I think you've had some fan requests in the past. Let me know if you have or not. If not, I do take fan requests, folks. That's right. All you got to do is hit me up. Beer and Song of the Day page. Personal page. Whatever. Hit me up. Even on my YouTube page. Hit me up. You want it? You want to hear something? You want me to drink something? You want me to uh, feature a hunk of the day, a beer, a baby of the day, whatever. Vehicle of the day, instrument of the day. I got it covered. I'm all about you, the fans. Without you, I'm as worthless as tits on a boy. Period. Die in the freaking story. Next birthday. My good friend. Ah. Eric Wennerstrom. Oh, milestone birthday to this guy. He's a fellow Masonic brother from the greatest lodge in the world, Marine Lodge, Falmouth, Massachusetts. Been around since 1798. Eric, happy birthday, my brother. How are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. This guy's amazing. And brother, it's been a little bit since I've heard from you. 
But hey, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing, will you? Next time I get home on vacation, I'm definitely hitting up the lodge. Man, it's been a while. I need some Masonic uh, mentoring and people like you. Hanging out with people like you makes me a better person as well. Eric, happy milestone birthday. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And the final birthday today for today is my good friend Amanda Paulson. An absolute sweetheart of a lady that I know courtesy of the old um, Farmville back in the day. That's right. <clears throat> you are an awesome lady. And uh, good to hear from you today. Been a while since I had heard from you. So how are you? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I miss playing song pop with you. I hope you still play song pop. You got to get on there. Boy, they got so many categories. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Amanda Paulson, get on the old song pop, will you? And I miss you. Happy birthday. Hope you have a working awesome day. And hey, celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and mercy to you, my dear. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Wow. That's a lot of birthdays. That's a lot of shout outs. So, we do have one wedding anniversary shout out to my good friend John Bunker an awesome guy I love this guy he tells it like it is we need more people in the world like that he's a very good friend of my father no surprise there because these two guys think the same way awesome yep that's right um, John yep you know Jeff Baker's my father and he's a great man and John you're a great man and I love your posts and happy 17th wedding anniversary to you and your wonderful better half Leslie Ah, oh, yeah, she's a great lady. Known her a long time as well. John and Leslie, 17 years of exquisite, wicked, awesome marriage. Hell yeah! Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Here's to at least 17 more, right? And then we go 17, 17, 17. Hey, 17 is a good number. Marty Barrett, Boston Red Sox, second baseman. Back in the 80s, I know. It's a good number. To the two of you, I say cheers and beers and congratulations. All right. So there you have it. Now let's get to our um, trivia question. Oh, it was a good one. And I had a feeling it was going to be answered. I didn't want to hide question, you know. I mean, come on. Why make hard trivia questions that nobody can answer? That's no fun. All right. So this one-time mayor of Carmel, California was 11 pounds, 6 ounces when he was born on May 31st, 1930. This legendary actor is very famous today. Who is he? Well, our good friend Penny Nebraska, an absolutely awesome mafia at on the old Mafia Wars. She said, Clint Eastwood. Hell yeah! You nailed it! Wicked awesome job! And a big! Love like a salute to you! Oh, hell yeah! Penny Nebraska, wicked awesome job, my friend. And a big hearty cheers of beers. All right. She went on to say this, and I love it. It is a beautiful place. We were there in September, five minutes from Monterey Bay. We were whale watching. Oh, yeah. I've been to Carmel, California. It is a beautiful place indeed. You are absolutely smurfalutely correct. No doubt about it. Ah, Callie, you know if, if the political system wasn't so screwed up and the cost of living wasn't so damn high, it would be a great place. I mean, where else can you go swimming and skiing in the same day? That's right, California. You know it. California. Yeah. Have a party. Uh-huh. Let's drink again. And besides, they got In-N-Out Burger. Ah, the best fast food burger joint in the world. Undoubtedly. All right. So there's our shout-outs for today. Let's get into our vehicle of the day. And you know... I just felt like bringing up an old school hearse. Why? Because they don't make hearses like they used to. I love hearses. I want to own one someday. This is a 1937 Packard 1508 hearse. Look at that thing. When I kick the bucket, I want to ride in style one more time. And that, my friends, is a great, raid, great way to ride in style. Look at that thing. 1937 Packard 1508 hearse. That is a beaut. Boy, what a vehicle of the day that is, huh? You got that right. All righty. Well, today's instrument of the day is pretty cool. Because, see, did you know that Clint Eastwood plays piano? He sure does. In fact, he's actually got songs out there. He does. He has sang. He's done some singing. 
He released a country music album in 1963. And I had no idea. So you're going to hear some of Clint Eastwood's country music down the road on Yeehaw Western Wednesday in the future. <laughs> Squeamy. me. But Clint Eastwood on the piano. And look how young he was there. Wow. What a stud, huh? You got that right. He sure was. Clint Eastwood. Hey, he's 85 years old today. And a big happy birthday to him. He's doing very well for his age. He is definitely in shape. He looks good for his age. And uh, he is nonstop. He's still working. He says he wants to work till he's 105 years old. I believe him, too. He's, he, he's got the balls to do it. He'll do it. Hey, just like Nike, just do it, right? All right, well, folks, it is time for you ladies and you men that love the men to get excited. Because, see, we're going to bring out today's hunk of the day on Baron's Song of the Day. And if you don't know who it already is, you're not watching the show right now. But see, for gospel music, I wanted to go ahead and feature a couple real screamers today. Guys, before James Brown, that showed that they could scream and get that message across. And we're going to bring out, I don't have a date on this one, but I know it was before he became a bishop. Reverend Samuel Kelsey. This guy is phenomenal. Born 1897. Passed away at the age of 95 in 1993. Church of God in Christ, phenomenal preacher, Reverend Samuel Kelsey, and this one's called Tribe of Judah, as we bring out Birthday Hunk, he's 85, man alive, Clint Eastwood, your hug of the day, Baron song of the day, the of God. I'm not even going to speak, let's just listen to the song, listen to the message, and enjoy the hug of the day, Clint Eastwood. Older and bolder, still looking good, eh? Wow, look at that. Yeah, ladies and you men that love the man, yeah? Yates in the raw hard. Clint Eastwood. Topless ladies and you men to look men. When he was mayor of Carmel, California from 1986 to 1988. Wow, he was young there. Raw hard. Love it. Great TV show. Right from 1959 to 1965. Six seasons. Getting motivated yet? Listen to that music. Wow. Nothing more motivational and energetic than gospel music, folks. Love it. Awesome stuff right there. As we continue to drool over Clint Eastwood. My goodness. Didn't know how much of a hunk he was back in the day, huh, did you? Now you do. Well, we had a lot of celebrity birthdays yesterday and today. I'm going to get through them as quick as I can. So bear with me. How about Edina Menzel? Edina Menzel yesterday uh, turned 44 years old today. Steven Gerrard. Legendary soccer player, 35 years old. CeeLo Green, phenomenal rhythm and blues singer. I'm a big fan of this guy. I think he's absolutely phenomenal. CeeLo Green, 41 years old. Mike Shepard, actor. He turned 51 yesterday. Mel Blanc, one of the greatest voices of all time. What's up, Mac? Yep, he did the voice of Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, and all those legendary Warner Brothers cartoon characters. Mel Blanc, born on this day, 1908. 
well, yesterday, May 30th, 1908, passed away in 1989 at the age of 81. Winona Judd, yeah, hot country singer. She's 51 years old. Um, Jennifer Ellison, 32, and fired to that new set of snow tires. Look at that picture. Wow. Jake the Snake Roberts yesterday turned 60 years old. Ah, thank God he's still with us, because I'll tell you, he's had some hard times over the years. I remember watching him in WWF wrestling back in the 80s and 90s, bringing out that snake Damien. I love Jake the Snake Roberts. He just slither around the ring. Oh, yeah. Benny Goodman, one of the greatest, definitely the greatest clarinet player of all time, no doubt. Legendary jazz leader who hated segregation, hated racism. He had a... Um, interracial band in 1935-36 in an era where it was not cool to do so. That's right. Benny Goodman, big fan of that man, born, this, born yesterday in 1909, passed away in 1986. And then you got Danielle Harold, <whistles> uh, former baby today on Baron's Song of the Day. Look at that picture, will you? Oh my goodness. Well, Danielle Harold yesterday turned 23. Gail Sayers, number 40. Running back, Chicago Bears. Stop Bears. Stop Bears. He turned 72 years old yesterday. Manny Ramirez, Man Ram. Should have never worn number 24 on the Boston Red Sox. That's my boy Dwight Evans' number. But he gave us eight great years. And uh, Manny Ramirez, definitely a fruitcake, but a hell of a hitting machine. 43 years old as of yesterday. Uh, Clint, Clint, Clint Boyer, NASCAR, 36 years old. He turned yesterday. Bob Evans. Bob Evans Restaurants. Sausage Man. Legend. Born to stay yesterday in 1918. Passed away in 19... In 2007 to the ripe old age of 89. Bob, Bob Evans Restaurants. If you're familiar with them, now you know. That's right. All oh, from Rawhide. Look at that um, publicity photo. What a tough guy right there. Clint Eastwood. Hell, he's 85. He can probably still kick my ass. Um... Ted McGinley. Oh, I love this guy. Ted McGinley, he was such a hunk in lots of TV shows in the 70s and 80s. And uh, Ted McGinley is 57 years old as of yesterday. He's a former hunk of the day on Baron Song of the Day, too. And then Meredith McRae, actress, born yesterday in 1944, sadly passed away at the age of 56 in 2000. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. So there you go. How about that, huh? That's how we remember Clint Eastwood. Tough guy. Uh, today's celebrity birthdays. You already know about Clint Eastwood's 85th birthday. And uh, Jordy Nelson, wide receiver of the uh, Green Bay Packers. He is 30 years old today, milestone birthday. Uh, rapper Waka Waka Flame, 29 years old today. Go ahead, make my day. Dirty Harry, 1971. One of the greatest of all time. Was it 73, rather? Dirty Harry. All those Dirty Harry films. I have the whole collection. I think it was 71. Ah. And then we got Colin Farrell, phenomenal actor. 39 years old today. Nate Robinson, only 5'9", NBA basketball player. 31 years old today. John Bonham, one of the greatest drummers of all time. Led Zeppelin. John Bonham. Born this day, 1948. Sadly passed away, much too young, in 1980. Leah Thompson. <whistles> former baby today on Baron Song Day. Loved her in Back to the Future. And, of course, she was in Howard the Duck. And, man, was she looking good. Leah Thompson's 54 years old today. She still looks fantastic today. And then Joe Namath. If you're a New York Jets fan, you better love this guy. Hell, I love the guy, and I hate the Jets. Joe Namath. 72 years old today. Awesome stuff. Broadway Joe. The only one that can guarantee a victory and live up to it. And do it. Uh, Walt Whitman, legendary uh, writer-poet. Born in the state in 1819. Passed away in 1892. Corey Hart. I wear my sunglasses at night. Yep, that guy. 53 years old today. Chris Elliott, legendary comic actor. Love this guy. He's 55 years old today. Johnny Paycheck, yeah, country singer, that's right. Take this job and show me. Yep, Johnny Paycheck, born this day in 1938, passed away in 2003 at the much too young age of 65. And then we got uh, 
Tom Berenger, phenomenal actor. He is 66 years old today. I always thought he was born in 1950. Now they say 1949. You know how famous people change their um, birthdays. Yeah, <laughs> they do. It's weird. Jake Peavy, major league pitcher, formerly with the Red Sox. Best years with the San Diego Padres. He's 34 years old today. Peter Yarrow. Ah, uh, of course, a Peter, Paul, and Mary. Phenomenal folk trio. Peter Yarrow, 77 years old today. Don Amici, phenomenal actor. I love this guy. Born this day in 1908. Passed away at the age of 85 in 1993. And finally, actor Jim Hutton. Of course, the father of uh, legend Tim Hutton. Jim Hutton, born this day in 1934. He passed away two days after his 45th birthday in 1979. Very tragic, very sad. But, uh, you know, point, folks. Enjoy your life every day. You never know when it's your time to go. All right, so let's drink to that. Let's drink to those celebrity birthdays. Let's enjoy it. All right, now it's time for my favorite part of the show. That I love featuring the baby today. Yes, I do. Because that's eye candy to love, Doctor. And uh, we got some great gospel music for this one. One of my all time favorites, Archie Brownlee, the lead singer of the Five Blind Boys of Mississippi. This guy, wow. Sally passed away February 8, 1960, at the much too young age of 34. He was born in 1925. He was James Brown before James Brown came into existence. Seriously. Just listen to this man. Listen to the Five Blind Boys of Mississippi. The song is called Don't Forget the Bridge. <coughs> Squeaky. Oh, that burning those hairs. Oh, it's from 1956. VJ Records number 240. I can't promise that the uh, recording quality is the best. But hey, you got to have the song. It's a great song. Here you go. The message is incredible, and so is our baby today. Now, Brooke Shields is a milestone half a century old, 50 years old today, and she's been modeling for 40 years. In an era where um, they didn't think about child pornography, unfortunately, Brooke Shields was getting naked at the age of 10. Very disturbing to me. I had to work really hard to find pictures of her that were not underage. Why? Because this looks wrong. She was 12 years old there. A pretty baby. Little Brooke Shields back in the day. Yeah, I would never exploit my daughter like that. No way. So we had to look for pictures that were 18 and over. And I spent a couple hours looking for that, folks. Brooke Shields. Very pretty young lady. All right, now she was 15 in the Blue Lagoon. So if you watch that movie, be careful. Because, uh, yeah, she was only 15. Supposedly they did use a body double. In fact, we turned to the Blue Lagoon in 1991 with Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich was only 15 years old. And yet she appeared topless in the movie. Crazy. I don't know, folks. I'm so much against child pornography. My daughter's 13 years old. So I had to go with pictures 18 and over. Alright? And I wanted to show you why I did. Brooke Shields. What a lovely lady indeed. She looked good then. She looks good today. But she'll always be famous for those Calvin Klein jeans commercials. Nothing gets between me and my Calvins. So she always said. 49 and we can find there. No kidding. How's that for screaming, huh? 19 there. 18 there. Those were the 80s. She was 19 there. Vogue magazine. 21 there. Wow. No, she was 18. I take that back. That was from 1983. A little older and bolder there. And 18 there. In her undies. Wow. Yeah, I, I did a lot of research for these last night because I wanted to make sure that I did not grab anything that was illegal. 
She was actually underage there, if I'm not mistaken. I think she was 17 there. But, you know, it's it's um, a classy picture, so it's okay. She was 18 there. Wow. Yep, so... There you go. It reminds me of Jazzercise back in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Mid-80s, big hair. Hell, yeah. Hey, a lot of cool things happen on this day, May 31st in the year of our Lord, whenever. Case in point, oldest bride, Minnie Monroe, 102 years old, married Dudley Reed, who was 83 years old. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Um, they got married in Australia. There she was, 21 there. Look at that. Wow. On this day, 1990, Seinfeld, starring Jerry Seinfeld, debuts on NBC. It was known as Seinfeld Chronicles. That was 25 years ago today. How about that there, uh, Matt Britt? Pretty cool, huh? You got that right, brother. Um, Wowzers. On this day, 1977, the Trans-Alaska Trans Oil Pipeline is completed. Oh, yeah. On this day, 1961, Chuck Berry, my all-time favorite musician in history, his amusement park, Berryland opened in St. Louis, Missouri. On day 1958, Dick Dale invents surf music. Now, Let's Go Trippin', they say he played it originally in 1958, but I was, I was doing a lot of research. Supposedly he played it in 1958, and in 1960, um, in Club Balboa, 1961, he recorded the song, considered the first true surf music instrumental, Dick Dale's song, Let's Go Trippin'. Oh, yeah. Wow. Whew. August day, 1949. Charlie Lupica. Listen to this one, folks. Charlie Lupica begins a stay on a four-foot platform atop of a 60-foot pole, vowing to stay until the Cleveland Indians clinched the pennant. Yeah, they didn't. And he stayed up there for 117 days. I don't know. That's just wicked hardcore. That, that's, that's beyond... That's just... Dumb. That ain't dumb. That's gorgeous. Yo, yeah, baby. Aussie 1948. Tommy Lasorti. Yeah, that guy of the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. At the time, he was um, in the minor leagues. He struck out 25 batters, 25 Amsterdam rug makers in 15 innings. Incredible. Whew. Older and bolder. Look at that. Man, like a fine wine. She gets better with age, doesn't she? Brooke Shields? Yes, she does. She's 50 today. Wow. Honestly, in 1941, the first issue of Parade Magazine goes on sale. How about that? Oh, we got a little plumber's action going on. Yeah. Love it. Sexy. Oh, that's beautiful. Honestly, in 1935, 80 years ago today, Babe Ruth grounds out in his final at-bat in Major League Baseball. Wow. Oh, I say 1927, Ford Motor Company produces the last Tin Lizzie, the Model T. They then began producing the Model A. That's right. Oh, I say 1919, first wedding held in an aircraft. It was over Houston, Yeehaw, Texas. Also, on, on this day, 1917, they say the first jazz record ever was released, Darktown Strutter's Ball. On this day, in, 18, in 1907, Steve Chiapetta. This happened, yeah, 1907 there, Steve. And you were born, you know when. I won't reveal your age. But taxis first begin running in New York City. How about that? You're linked with a milestone, brother. Oh, I said 1895. John Harvey Kellogg patents, quote-unquote, flaked cereal. <laughs> Flakes. Long before the hippie era, that's for sure. Wow, I love that picture. You might find that one on Baron Song of the Day, uh, Baby of the Day album, because that is beautiful. She was in her 20s there, and she's finer than a new set of snow tires. Lovely. So, yeah, I think that's the last picture we got of Brooke Shields. It sure is. What a great way to end that sh that uh, picture of the day, Baby of the Day. Let's drink to that. Mm. Finish off this day in history. August in 1891. Work on the Trans-Siberian Railway begins. Very famous railroad. Longest in the world. Also in 1889, the Johnstown Flood in Pennsylvania. Sadly, 2,209 people perished. 
They've had three famous Johnstown floods. 1889 was the most sad and most tragic. On this day in 1880, League of American Wheelmen, the first U.S. Bicycle Association, forms in Newport, Rhode Island. Trust me, I've been to Newport, Rhode Island. They get the money for that. On this day in 1879, the first ever Madison Square Garden in New York City opens. On this day in 1868, much respect to Ohio because the first ever Memorial Day Parade is held in Ironton, Ohio. Also on this day in 1868, Dr. James Moore of the United Kingdom wins the first ever recorded bicycle race. It was two kilometers, so 1.2 miles. Uh, Velocipede race at Park Feed St. Cloud, Paris, France. Je ne peux pas français très bien. You know what I'm saying, That's what I'm talking about. Or Canada indeed. I still love to do our neighbors up north, and I do that on Beer and Song Day every single day of the week. Big and E. All right. On this day in 1847, the Rotterdam Hague Railway in the Netherlands opens. On this day in 1837, the Astor Hotel opens in New York City. It later becomes the world famous Waldorf Astoria. Yep, and that building is still going strong today. On this day in 1821, Cathedral of Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the first U.S. Catholic cathedral, is dedicated in Baltimore, Maryland. And finally on this day in 1678, I wish I could have been there for this one, because Lady Godiva rode naked through Coventry, England in a protest of taxes. Why don't more people do that? Why don't more women do that? If you don't like the taxes, ride naked and protest it. I think it paid off for her. And maybe it'll pay off for you, too. Hell, I'll drink to that. Empty is the brain cells of an average New York Jets fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Time to mow the lawn. But hey, it's also time to make a confidence to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a drive, you might spill your drink, all you might kill, kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking a drum, driving is dumb to being a Yanks fan. But what's dumber than that is being a fan of Justine Beaver who could screw up a wet dream. Hell, Canada hates him and so do we. Can't get rid of the piece of crap. But what's dumber than that um, is men slapping women or animal abuse or racism or people to watch on bets or fake friends or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church or ISIS Things like that are just plain stupid. And definitely deserve a big fat GFY. That's how I feel. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow with a very special Blues Monday that I'm hoping to keep under 30 minutes. You're going to love it. But I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Amen. Uh-oh. It won't stop.